When severe weather threatens the southern plains, you might hear us talk about the dry line. While cold fronts and warm fronts separate air masses of different temperatures, the dry line are a boundary between air masses of different moisture levels. And in the United States, the dry line separates warm and humid air from the Gulf of Mexico, from hot and dry air from the deserts of the Southwest. And the dry air behind the boundary actually has a higher density than the moist air ahead of it. The collision of these two air masses forces the air to rise, which results in thunderstorm development. Forecasting the position of the dry line in the spring and summer is extremely important in the role of forecasting severe storms. Dry line thunderstorms have a tendency to be more discreet or isolated in nature. Given enough wind shear, they can produce large hail, damaging winds, and intense tornadoes. So when you hear us mention the dry line in your forecast, make sure you're paying attention to watches and warnings in your area. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Alana Cameron.